Hello everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And I am in downtown Las Vegas today. I guess this is part of our uh, Tory Nevada collection here. And uh, I'm standing at the corner of 6th and Mesquite here downtown. At 6th Street, uh, that's US 95 back there. And uh, you, 6th Street kind of begins or ends right here depending on your perspective. And we're gonna just take a walk down 6th Street here and uh, see what uh, see what's all down here. It'll take us past Fremont Street. But uh, this is some of the area I think that uh, I'm pretty sure it's like nobody gets back around to see. So we back there in Mesquite, there's a lot of housing back there. But one day we may walk Mesquite and see if what's all back in there. But we'll just kind of uh, cruise along here for a few minutes and see what uh, what it's all along here. See back there, kind of an old school 7-Eleven. has a two level uh, at the end of it. I would almost bet that second floor is probably where the uh, owner probably lives. Old school 7-Eleven. Look down the, uh, the actual downtown area, see the Grand and the Circa back there in the distance. Then we get the Fremont over there, the Gold Spike. This building right here is owned by the El Cortez. Now the cool thing about this building, we hit the uh, walk thing. It's this painting of this uh, lizard. Is that a salamander or just uh, some kind of lizard anyway? Some apartments right there for rent. Take a look back there at that, uh, that painting back there. Got in a parking garage over there. The El Cortez is the uh, Linus from the Peanuts gang. A lot of repair place over here on my right. Another hotel tower for the El Cortez. Tell him I say hello. Hey, how you doing, sir? We got the main hotel tower right there of the El Cortez. Another parking structure uh, right behind it. Some of the street artwork on that tower right there. Here at the El Cortez, since the last time I was downtown, the Prime Rib Special has gone up. 
it was $14.95 and now it's $16.95. A sign of the times, huh? Thirty percent looser slots, so you can't beat that. It doesn't say looser than who, but uh, but you know my saying: they wouldn't let him put it on a marquee if it wasn't true. So we get the valet area right here at. Uh, El Cortez, the Port of Cachier, if you will. This pedestrian parkway that walks. Uh, Takes you down to Las Vegas Boulevard, which is the next street over. See the lighting and stuff right there. It's very cool. And I know along the way there, there's uh, like advertising and stuff for the uh, old Cortez at the end. So I'm not sure if they built that themselves or if it was city and maybe El Cortez kind of keeps it up for them. But it's a nice little walkway. sushi restaurant across the street there. We're coming up here on Fremont Street and we'll cross over from there. Fremont East District here. And then look down towards the Fremont Street Experience, the canopy area down there. Right over there. I walked by there today. It smelled really good over there. I'm not sure if there was anybody inside yet. It said the brunch starts on the weekends at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna try it out one time. See some of the artwork back there on that building right there. I remember correctly I was part of Oscar Goodman when he was the mayor uh, part of kind of a beautification of downtown it was a lot of the street art you look back there on the back of that building you see that tiger back there that's that's very cool get some storefronts right there get a massage studio the second level's for lease. It's been for lease for a little while now. And we got a juice uh, juice bar right there, and another sushi place there. And I feature this in a couple of videos. The John E. Carson Hotel, no occupancy. And I think this was a hotel at one time. And it just uh, wait back in the day. That sign looks like it's probably from the 50s, I would imagine. The John E. Carson. 
hotel. I wonder if Johnny Carson ever stayed there. Now that would have been pretty cool. I'm on the corner of 6th and Carson right now. That's Carson Street if you look back that way. Carson Street right there, you see the back of the, the D and you see the plaza down there in the background. You see there's a lot of vacant lots all through this area right here. See that building back there in the background, the red brick building. That uh, was uh, Las Vegas High School. Now it's, uh, it's like Las Vegas Academy of Arts. And they do a few things. It's like right there. See, they've kind of converted a lot of this, uh, a lot of the vacant lots. Now, these are all empty over here. They convert a lot of the vacant lots over there to parking lots, parking spots. Wait. See, there's a little coffee shop in there, coffee, ice drinks, and pastries. Inside the Schwartz building, which I believe is a law firm. The Brut Coffee House right there. It looks like they got some uh, space for lease in there. Looks like this whole first floor area right here is uh, open and vacant and it is a law firm I'm sure they're on the second floor this building right here is for sale also which is pretty cool it's a cool looking building over there That's, I guess, who used to be there. Looks like it was another law firm or CPA firm, maybe. Check this out right as I'm walking through the water kicks on right here. Because you can't uh, hear in the desert. You know, for a water crisis situation, you can't get enough water in the concrete. Now, right across the way here. This house right here was the location of Andre's uh, French restaurant. I have posted a video on that. Hope everybody watched it. There's a lot of history here. This was uh, kind of one of the original gourmet houses here in Las Vegas. As Chef Andre. Uh, back in the day when there was no mega resorts. And, and probably the nicest restaurant may have been like the House of Lords restaurant at the Sahara. Uh, this restaurant right here was uh, 
the place to go. And it was open from 1980 to 2000 and the end of 2008. New Year's Eve of 2008, going into 2009, he closed it up. This little building right here, this kind of colonial style buildings, law offices. And then this building across the street from us is a uh, one of the courthouses here in Las Vegas. The address of this is 415 South 6th Street. And you can see it's like a lot of these places back here are uh, law offices, attorneys' offices, close proximity to all the courthouses that are here. And they've taken a lot of these places, a lot of these old homes that we're here and turned them into office buildings. Which is pretty cool because at least they kept the old, the architecture of the homes, you know, still standing. So. All right, so we're coming up here on 6th and Clark Street. And I think this is where we're going to end this tour. You see they've got the construction going on down there and there's a lot more law offices and stuff there. But this is where we're going to stop this one at. So we've taken a look at the 6th Street here in downtown Las Vegas uh, from Mesquite uh, to Clark, uh, to Clark, Clark Avenue. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Lower Frick. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, please. We greatly appreciate it. And to all of our subscribers, everybody who watched our videos, thank you very, very much. We appreciate your support. Take one last look. That's where we came from, right back there. All right, everybody, stay healthy, stay uh, vigilant, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.